<laughs> I have so many. Um, to me, he was the greatest player ever played. Uh, he happened to be the nicest man who was ever part of the NHL. I was lucky enough to meet him when I was 10. I played junior hockey with his youngest son, Murray, who went on to be a tremendous doctor. And I know Gordy was so proud of the fact that Murray was a doctor. Um, and then when I turned pro, we became friends and we were teammates in an all-star game. And I always remember I got picked by Jacques Demers to play in this WHA all-star series against Russia at that time, the Soviet Union. And I remember thinking, wow, okay, this is such an honor that I made the team. And I really honestly didn't anticipate to play at all, maybe a little bit here and there, which was fine. I was just so thrilled to be named as part of the team. And I walked into the locker room the first day and the trainer said to me, um, Coach Demers wants to say hello to you. Um, I walked into his office and he said, son, congratulations, you're going to center tonight. Mark Howe and the old man. And I remember thinking, wow, the old man, <laughs> that's, what they, <laughs> that's what they call him, um, which I found out later on, that's out of respect. So um, I went in the locker room. Of course, I was so nervous. I couldn't think. No, I we practiced that day with morning skate. We had so much fun. It was so nice to be on the ice with them. Pictures were taken, obviously. So that night was the first game. I was so nervous. And they'd given me my jersey. And I said, Gordy, my jersey's so big. I, I don't even know what I'm going to do with this. Obviously, <laughs> they, they got this jersey for the wrong guy. And he grabbed my jersey. He said, hold on, I got this. And he went in the back room and he got a needle and thread. And he actually sewed my jersey in the side to make it smaller. And I remember sitting there watching him going, who would believe this? That Gordy Howe is sewing <laughs> my jersey before an all-star game. So he sews my jersey. We're sitting there before warm up, and I remember I was kind of shaking and I was kind of nervous. And um, I looked over and I said, Gordy, I'm so nervous. And Gordy had his two skates resting on the stick that was on the um, bench uh, of the locker room. And he was leaning back against the wall. And as I turned to him, his eyes were closed and he had his hands sort of together. He opened his eyes and he looked at me and he said, I'm really nervous too. <laughs> and I remember thinking, Wow. Uh, so I had so many wonderful moments with him. He was always so positive. And that's why, you know, I remember I said to my dad, I said, gosh, it feels so bad. You know, in some ways, breaking Gordy Howe's record doesn't seem right. And he said, my dad said to me, you know, you might not know this, but he's so happy for you and he's so proud of the game. Someday somebody's going to break your record and you better have the exact same attitude to that person as Gordy Howe as to you. And so that's the way I look at Alex. I think Alex has been absolutely incredible for the game. If he breaks my record, I'll be the first guy to shake his hand. It's only a positive for the sport. I did what I did, and I know it was a different era, but I did what I did, and I'm proud of what I accomplished. And when uh, he breaks my record, I, I will be there to shake his hand. And I, like I said earlier, he's been nothing but great for the game of hockey, and I'm so happy that we're friends. And I think that it's wonderful for the sport.